So, um, hello, my name is Daria. Um, before coming to MIT, um, I was a toy designer, so I used to make toys from trash. Um, like a lot of toys and landfills where uh, you have keyboards and mice uh, lying around, and I would make pianos out of that. Um, after that, uh, when I came to MIT, I started working on uh, the body, and one of the things I used to work was uh, like programmable hair. So these small fabrics that you put in hair and you can take on your phone and click on a hairstyle and it changes to that hairstyle. Uh, the other thing was these muscles. So you, you kind of just do this and the muscles pop out. Of course, synthetic muscles, but you go to the late night street and you feel threatened and you just do this and muscles pop out. So today I want to talk about shoes. And so I grew up in, uh, I grew up in India, you can tell by my accent, um, in a forest of trees. And I moved to other cities later, um, which were forest of buildings, forest of concrete, um, to finally Cambridge, beautiful Cambridge. And everywhere I saw, I saw this, people always on a smartphone. And I was always curious, like, you know, everyone is kind of looking at the world through this window, this window, glass window of five inch. And I got myself a smartphone too. And it was awesome because it would tell me the right directions, the right uh, places to go to, the right things to shop. But there's something was missing in this window. I kind of missed the colors on the streets, the wonder and wonder in the city. I was always glued to my smartphone, I never looked up. And then it came my childhood. Um, in my early, like, you know, when I was like three, four years old, I would walk barefoot. And I think walking barefoot kind of made my, gave my feet a sense of intuition, as if my feet knew where to go already. And in a way, because your feet are the interface between your bodies and the earth, the feet is what connects you. So I started working on, like, maybe can I get this sense of intuition uh, back into this digital life that we live, digital um, life we live in um, these big cities through our shoes. So I started working on super shoes. So this, this is what uh, Super Shoes made of. It's a it's an inner sole, which you put in any fish shoes, and it's flexible, made of silicon. Over here are three vibrotactile actuators. In other words, um, it's a different kind of vibration motor, which tickles your feet. And there are three of them, so they go on series, like you know, uh, first this one goes second, third. So it gives a sense of like another it's tickling your feet from below. This is a tap sensor, so you can talk to your shoes by tapping, and it recognizes that. This is a small microcontroller, which is the brain of the soul, and that is a Bluetooth which talks to your phone for internet and uh, location, and that's the battery source there. So it's in the soul, it's flexible, you can twist it, you can fold it, you can put it in your pocket, um, and it's silicon, so it's comfortable and soft. And you can put them in any of your shoes, sandals or um, any of your boots, and any of your boots shoes become super shoes. So the first thing I wanted to try was maps because um, I use my smartphone mostly. Uh, I would use Google Maps to go about and around the city. So what if instead of looking at the phone, my shoes could take me to places? So this is how it works. If the left feet tickles, take a left turn. If the right feet tickles, take a right turn. If there's no tickle, keep walking. <laughs> So this was in one of my tests. Um, my friend Ji Fei, uh, she's wearing shoes. And she was taken to the lab. and suggest me places to go to. So I made this thing called Shoe Central, which is on the internet, uh, which is you go here one time and you fill in what kind of food you like, what kind of music you like, uh, what things you like to shop. 
what are your personality preferences? Do you like open places, club places, etc., etc.? So now the students know uh, me as a person, and since they know my location through my smartphone, they can take me to places. So um, in November, the beginning, we talked earlier, both of us were in Tokyo, and uh, I love okonomiyaki. So okonomiyaki is a kind of Japanese pizza, and the shoes would take me to the closest place, uh, which would serve a really nice okonomiyaki. So the way it works is, if both your if both your feet tickle, it's a recommendation. So you can choose to look at a screen of what is recommending, or maybe you just walk and you get surprised because you don't know what's coming your way. Maybe it's a um, it's a bookstore selling vintage books. Maybe it's a toy store. And you will be surprised. So this is GK who likes to see um, monuments and sculptures. And the shoe suggests him to take him to a sculpture and then make a campus. And like everyone else, I make a lot of to-do lists, a lot of things to do. And things like go and do laundry, uh, pick up flowers for my girlfriend. And I always forget because there's so many things to do. And one reason is also because most of these things are on my smartphone in the task list. And my smartphone doesn't remind me, my smartphone is not aware, it doesn't remind me when I'm actually in front of the flower shop. It doesn't remind me then. It, I go home and I see like, oh my god, I forgot to pick up the flowers. So what if my shoes could, actually, shoes could actually remind me when I'm in front of the shop? So if it tickles twice, uh, it's like kind of a buzzer. It's like you look around and you're like, oh yeah, I need to pick up the flowers. So in a way, the shoes become my personal assistant as well. And this is how my calendar looks, and I'm sure most people's calendar looks similar. We always run. We run from home to office, from meetings to other meetings. And we're always busy. We don't have time. We don't take breaks. So what if the shoes, since they already know how I spend my day, uh, they have access to my calendar. They know uh, how I'm busy and what I do. So what if when they find a free time, like say I'm free for half an hour, the shoes could be like, hey, do you want to take a break? And they can plan out a route for me, which takes me back uh, to where I start in, in like 15 minutes so I'm ready for the next meeting. And the beauty is, I don't know where the shoes are going to take me. So I just go out and walk, and it's only at a turn that I know that I have to take a left or right turn. And in a way, it's like walking with a friend who knows the locality and you don't worry about where to go.
So, yeah, she was in a way become my companion and although these are exaggerated metaphors, but you can see how the relationship goes from being purely physical to more emotional. In a way, it goes from being utility to um, more of a deeper connection. And that's what I wanted to share today with you, which was the art and science of getting lost with taking shoes. Thank you.